Hey guys, it's uh, Splash Art. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Been really busy with school and then <clears throat> obviously, you know, you know why the, but you can probably tell by the sound of this, it's just not been good with gambling right now. Um, I'm not really gonna go into too much details about money, but I suffered a pretty big loss last night. Um, well, I won a ton and then I lost most of it. And it's basically just been an uphill battle. Um, as it says in the GA book, um, there's never a big enough win to make the smallest dream come true. And I really believe that now. Um, took me a while to admit, and it all comes with step one of uh, GA, which is admitting that you are powerless. And to be honest with you, I was pretty much powerless. I had a lot of money and I just lost a lot of money. I don't even know what really happened. It was just kind of like an all in an instant. In like three minutes, I lost $4,000 that I had won like over the last couple days. And uh, it was just kind of, I've just been kind of like keeping it small. Like I'm not a rich man here. I was just kind of betting like $10, and $10 a day kind of thing. And then ended up running it up once to like a hundred and then I gave it a rest and then ran it up to 4,000 and uh, and I was like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. And then started trying to gamble normal and play poker at the correct stakes and stuff. And it was just too boring. And I got sucked into freaking putting slots on and next thing you know, you play enough slots, you're gonna lose all your money. So that happened, which is unfortunate but it is what it is um i actually think i'm actually grateful for it uh it was like i said i'm not really in financial problem i'm not really having a financial problem here but an extra four grand would certainly be nice as a college student but uh yeah so basically this is just my video check-in for the day um last night when it happened it happened i lost four grand in about three minutes um I feel a lot better right now, but last night was not good. It was a very dark time in my life. Uh, I wouldn't say the darkest of times, but it was, I that was like the first time I was really considering some sort of self-harm thoughts that I can really think of off the top of my head. And it was just a rough night. Um, to be honest, I just kind of went to bed early because I have my job at 5.30 in the morning now. Um, I work at the golf course, and uh, I actually listened to an awesome podcast. Um, I don't know, Phil Melkison is in it. If I can't find the link, I'll find a link. It was on Spotify, and put that in there, and he talks about how he uses golf as kind of like a meditation to get away from his urges and his addictive personality, and I believe that I'm a lot like him in a way. We both have the same addictive personality, and we both like golf. we would probably be very good, uh, good people. Um... So yeah, that's basically my story, um, the start of my story. Uh, stay tuned for more, obviously. Um, just gotta really work the steps, like Gamblers Anonymous, day one. This is exactly what I'm gonna be publishing every day, and uh, I'm gonna have a journey. I'm gonna make a commitment on June 18th, 2021. It'll be video 365, and it will be me talking to you again. Um, a year in, I promise. Um, just please hit that follow button. I really would appreciate it. And uh, I know it's hard for me to like come out on this internet and platform and stuff. So though, I just am doing this to try it because I know that there are tons of other people out there who have the same exact problem that I have. And probably a lot of people are my age. And that's kind of rare when it comes to GA. Um, GA meetings, you can't really find help from there. But uh, feel free to leave a comment with your email or something, and we can email or text back and forth. I'd love to have a conversation with any of you. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, this video, I hope it helps you, and voila.